So we are live in PA at the Move Over Rally. So we'll give you a look right here at all the vehicles. So um, there is, I think Todd Lee said we're expected to have about 300 individuals here. So we'll uh, have you say hello to Rod. Rod, Facebook Live, say hello. Hello, guys. So if you have visited respondersafety.com, which we hope that you have, Rod is the mastermind behind all of those great training videos. So, cool. And he's here capturing some great footage today. So we'll give you kind of a look at... Uh, you guys be good. Yeah, there's a little bit of everything from police, fire, EMS. Such a great turnout. So they're going to be actually putting a drone up in the air in a little bit and uh, capturing all of this. And I'll take you over to the Cumberland Valley booth we have here. So um, we brought snacks. So if you're coming and you're watching this, make sure you stop by. And we're Facebook Live here, Joel are, and Diane. Hey, These are, are our, our new friends, Joel and, and Diane, and they are responsible for enddistracteddriving.org, and we'll let them talk a little bit about that. Oh, um, we're proud to be associated with you guys, Cumberland Valley, and our you organization our is... Here? Yeah, we'll get down here and check out your banner. It's so. enddistracteddriving.org, and it's in memory of our daughter, Casey, who was killed by a distracted driver. And um, we've been doing distracted driving talks all across the country, uh, certainly here in Pennsylvania, for about the last 10 years. And uh, looking forward to doing more of them. Yeah, and it, even with the pandemic, we can do them virtually. Yeah, check out that Zoom hat. So, yes, and just right. so you know, we're so people are watching. You guys are like, you guys are so close. We're all vaccinated. We made sure we did our little check. Yeah, so yes. right. We made sure. So they've got so, some uh, great resources here at the table. And Cumberland Valley is so excited to be partnering with them in the great work. Do you want to talk about the book, Joel? Isn't there a great oh, book? Yes, we we have a kids' book, Sam's Distracted Day. We're teaching kids to recognize what a distraction is. Uh, not to multitask and uh, when their moms and dads are distracted and we're teaching them to speak up and basically they're going to say mommy daddy I love you but I don't feel safe when you drive me and look at your phone and we got a kids book K through 2 and then we have elementary school lesson plans grades uh, 2 through 3 and 4 through 5 which the teachers will give in the classrooms and teach kids about that our goal is to create a new generation of kids that will never drive distracted and that's what we need to do to keep all of us safe keep all these great folks who keep us safe out on the highways and our resources can all be accessed through our website and that is enddd.org and distracteddriving.org. And, and Diane and Joel, we are so excited to have you partnering with us, being here, helping spread your message. And I think it's so great. You guys are hitting those young kids that that and getting the message out. And, and if Joel, if, if somebody's watching and they want to have you come to their school or their organization, can they reach out and do that? Absolutely. Uh, info at enddd.org or info at enddistracteddriving.org. Uh, we're doing virtual talks, high school, middle school, and as I said, the elementary school lesson plans, community events. Um, I'm kind of frustrated. I can't travel around, and <laughs> so I'm trying to do as many as I can. And we actually did one with Zoom, that's and they sponsored it, and that's why I got this hat. Very cool, very cool. Well, again, thank you so much <laughs> for you, all Candace. that you're doing. If there's anything as an association, oh, Jack Sullivan's watching. Say hi to Jack. So I know you've hi been Jack. Jack. So uh, Jack's been in contact you know, via Absolutely. email, so now he gets to see your face. And so for those of you that don't know, which I'm sure everybody knows, Jack is our subject matter expert um, when it comes to all of the uh, prevention for distracted driving it and struck by is on the, the roadway so we're luck so lucky to have Jack on our team so um, oh and look who we have over here Facebook live we have Good a morning. legend in the house let's turn this way so we're not in the Sun okay. all right do you want to introduce yourself good morning hi I am James Garcia I'm a paramedic uh, I was from South Carolina I'm the creator of the move over law in uh, 1994 I was working in an accident somebody came through had their head turned looking at the lights and stuff plowed right into me broke my arm and broke my leg as it turned out, I was listed at fault in the accident for standing in the road. Nobody at that time had ever thought to uh, authorize us to stand in the road or tell people not to run us over. I wrote the law in 94, it passed in 96, and spent six years trying to convince anybody else this was actually happening, and no one believed me until started to have a, a series of significant events around 2000, 2002 with Lionville, uh, with uh, uh, Scott Gillen up in Illinois. And so I finally got together with Responder Safety Institute, Federal Highway, got together and started working on it. And we ended up getting the move over law passed. It, it took 10 years to get it across the country. 
but we finally got it everywhere now in Canada and Australia and England, a few other places working on it now too. And still got a lot of work to go, you know, to convince people how important it is and things that we can do to make things safer for ourselves. But glad to see this entire group getting together to see how important this is and saving lives. Absolutely. So, thrilled to be here today. And, and, from, and I think from what I understand from uh, Mr. Steve Austin, that you're one of the founders and part of our group and what yes. we've done at, at Cumberland Valley with Responder Safety and the Institute. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and thrilled to have them work with me. They were, uh, um, Harriet Cooley with uh, International Towing was the first person to say, hey, somebody needs to listen to this guy. And she hooked me up with Steve and Responder Safety and we got together and, you know, they believed me. Yeah, absolutely. After six yeah. years, I was glad to have somebody say, yeah, this guy's, you know, he's got a point here. And, you know, we looked into it and we saw, instantly saw that struck by injuries were the biggest cause of, of uh, death and injury to all public safety workers, police, fire, EMS, towing, recovery, uh, roadway workers of every kind. This is what was hurting and killing us and needed to be addressed. So, you know, finally to get everybody on board to see the significance of the problem. Uh, even with, you know, 25 years of the law, we're still having two to three incidents a day across the country. We're still having two to three deaths a week. We can do better. We can do better, and that's what hopefully we can do today, getting the message out to people so they understand how important this is. So thank you guys. Hey, when you see us over there, we're out there to save your lives. So go, come, give us a break there. Yeah, well, give us a break, slow down a little bit. Thank you, James, so much. And, and Jack Sullivan says, good to see James hey, Jack, PA. So. Good to see you. Glad to be here today. Yeah, man. So. It's, it's amazing to see this many people yeah, that care about this. Yeah, we'll have to this. give everybody kind of a view. Look We've got wow. like, a little bit... Um, there's a ton of people here. And there's Bob Cumberland. We're going to walk over and say hi to Bob. Bob, say hi to Facebook Live. Hi there. How's everybody? So for those of you that are watching, you should know that, you know, Bob is our guy that's in the booth, staffing the booth, taking it all around to the welcome centers, to all the different trade shows. And Bob, how long have you been doing this? Oh, probably about 10 years. Yeah. We for... started out in uh, Greencastle uh, with the uh, welcome center on 81. The lady who was in charge of that uh, invited us up for fire prevention, and that's how we got started with the Welcome Centers, and she helped us to get into the uh, Tourist uh, uh, Association in Pennsylvania to uh, allow us to be able to go to all 14 of the Pennsylvania Welcome Centers. Yeah, and you don't just stay in PA. You've been everywhere. You've been all over the country spreading well, this message, right? Well, we... Uh, through, through them and through Maryland, where I'm from, we got hooked up with uh, the Southeast uh, Travel Alliance, which is uh, an organization that the uh, Welcome Center and Tourist Group all run. And now we have uh, the tourist uh, Welcome Centers from Florida to Pennsylvania. And they're putting out our brochures and coloring books and things like that. And Jack Sullivan just said, good job, Bob. Okay. So, yeah, we, you know, Bob, I think all of us at Cumberland Valley would agree we'd be completely lost without you. You're a true asset, everything that you do. So uh, we definitely love you and appreciate you. Well, I thank you very much for that. It's all about saving our first responders on the highway. It, you know, uh, the, the people on the highway are just as important as everybody else, and we want them all to go home like everybody else does when they're done their work. So, yep. Look out for the... Uh, towers, the first responders, the police officers, move over and slow down when you see them with their lights on, please. Yeah, absolutely. So we're going to sign off for now. We'll be back on Facebook Live um, sharing some more coverage of this great event. So thank you, Bob. So Thank, thank you, Candace. Right. We'll talk to you all soon.